And wow. it took up the... So, it's around 100 years old. Yan yung pinaka para pumasok da yung air. Air, that's oh. right. Mercury drug. Back then, he had to mix the medicines himself. Wow. So, if you look at yung um, dining area, um, again, my lola love to host a lot of parties. I can't believe we're holding on to what we've already given up. Kauna-unahang doktor dito sa pila. Ayan. Ah, talaga? Ay, papasok na tayo sa loob. So, ulitin ko lang dati itong clinic. Kauna-unahang doktor dito nga sa pila. Not only that, can you tell him Ang lola ko naman, ang kauna-unang uh, hermana dito sa Pila, 1888. Mm. So, Hello. highlight kayo ng Mama Mary. So, yung Mama Mary namin nanda kasi since birthday ngayon ni Mama Mary. Kasi sa church. Oo. Kaya punta kayo doon. Ah, o oh, sige. Sige, take it away. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi Celine. Hi, Good afternoon, Fern. Fern, Teodoro. Ayun, Teodoro. Teodoro. Ayun. So he was the first and only doctor of Pila. Um, after graduating college, when he came here, he tried to understand this. Um, what does the town need? Uh -oh. So yes. he decided, uh, oh, I think this town needs a doctor. Hello. <laughs> He's friendly, I promise. Ah, okay. Beagle, no? Beagle. Oh, yeah. Mayroon din akong dog, eh. Oh. <laughs> So, um, yeah, he decided that this is going to, uh, he, the town needed a doctor, so he went back to study medicine and then came back um, to give, well, to treat people for free. Mm -mm. Ah, so, talaga? He would do it for free, yes. Uh -oh, and wow. it was based on the needs of the town, and then some people would offer um, some rice uh -oh. or some chicken just as uh, ingratitude. Uh -oh. um, but then his services are usually for free. Mm -mm. So, yeah, he was the first and only doctor. Uh, he also loved to do uh, calligraphy, letter writing. Um, he wow. used Spanish and he actually made um, something of a family crest. So if you look at the archway over here, yeah, you see oh, that wow. that symbol in the middle. The oh, e, that one. E. Ah, okay. So yeah. we have an S there. Uh, the blue S is for his wife, Solita. The red ribbon is A for Alava and T, similar to the medical symbol, is for ah, him. Ah, oh yes. Oo nga, nakikita ko nga. Teodoro. Or ribbon pala yung red. Mm -mm. Ang galing. Kala ko nga, Thai eh. A Thai eh. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede din. Diba? Parang Thai. Yeah, nice, he, he, he designed it himself. So, this house was built in the early 1920s. And wow. it took up the... So, it's around 100 years old. Uh, this house took up the Spanish-American style. So, uh, in contrast to just Spanish where it's all dark wood, the walls are all dark, um, it has that American aspect because of how bright yes, uh, yeah. the room is, how light, how white, and how colorful yeah. the walls are. This is not very Spanish, but it's actually very American. Oh. I am the great-granddaughter ah, of Theodoro okay. and the official tour guide of this house since I was 10 years old. Oh, wow. Nice, mm -hmm. nice, nice. So, I want to welcome you to oh, thank you. 030 Borsagom <laughs> Street. Okay. Um, so here we have Yung living room. Um, my great grandmother, um, Solita yeah. Agra Alava, you, the Pakita woman you see in the photo, the see in the paintings. Yeah. Uh, she was actually quite fond of having uh, paintings or photos taken. So you'll see that scattered all over the house. Mm. So interesting about. Um, Lola Sarita, she loved to dress up, she loved to host guests. Those are actually her children. So she had seven children in total. Mm, okay. Those are arranged by age. So Lola ah, Melda, Lola okay. Popping, um, and so on. This one over here, the youngest daughter is my grandmother, okay. Lola Lita. And then the youngest of the family is Lola Teddy. Mm. And as of today, um, only two of the children remain. Si oh. Lola Feli and si Lola Teddy. Mm, okay. 
I think the difference also is because Pila is the town uh, na pinagbayaan mm-hmm. or the blessed town because during World War II when um, the Japanese bombers passed by they just flew over the town uh, some mm. say it bec- was because of the tall trees some say because this town is blessed uh, that's why we got to keep a lot of the old houses around yeah, the plaza Oma, yes. and this is considered one of the three I believe heritage sites in the Philippines the Philippines famous one is Vigan um, Pila is another one so Vigan of the South and then I think there's another one in Cebu, but I'm I'm, mm. I'm not sure what the place is called. Ah, okay, okay. Vegan is the most popular Akala one. Ko taal, kasama ang taal. <laughs> Hindi <pa na. laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe no, because I was there the other day. Mm-hmm. Ang galing, ang ganda rin ng pagkakarisor ng mga ano nila. Yeah. Yung um, this one. So here we have all, whole the houses all around the plaza. Yeah. And then back then everybody used to be related to everyone so if you wanted to see your cousin oh yeah you just hello gaganong ka lang sa mga kapitbahay or like mo. over there um in the house next door oh yeah yeah some yung, say that the town mga kamis naman yung mga ganito sa probinsya <laughs> ng mga dumadaan habang kumakain or mm-hmm. nagbe breakfast nagko coffee no or just um instead of watching tv you sit here yeah, and yeah, watch yeah, the yeah, kids yeah, play yeah. Oladoro used to do. Mm. So, in the afternoon when the kids are playing in the plaza, nakopush lang siya dito. May sakatuwa, no? Mm-mm. Nakakatuwa yung mga panahon na ganyan. Sarap lang balikan, no? Some local magazines consider the house um, a house with no walls. Kasi if you open up... Oh nga, may ano. Ayun! Ano nga ba ang tawag dyan? Oh, this one I forgot. <laughs> um, kalimutan ko na. May tawag dyan, eh. Yan yung pinaka para pumasok da yung air. Air, that's oh. right. So, in the hottest of days, we don't feel it. We just have to open up oh. this in the middle of the day and then the house is all cold. Pero, parang walang wall, no? Oo oh, <laughs> nga eh. Parang pader. Nice. Sabi, nakakamiss. Nakakamiss yung mga ganitong bahay talaga. Wow. So, sana after 50 years, nandito pa rin itong mga bahay na ito, ano? Yes, I'm Siyempre, hoping. nasa mga ano yun, magmamana. May iba kasing ano, may mga ibang ancestral house. Mm-hmm. Normally, minana from their grandparents. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung, nung namana nila, siyempre sila nagkaanak na, tapos nagkaapo. Eh, kaya lang, siyempre, may iba, hindi naman ganun... Ano yung, hindi naman sila wealthy para i-restore yung bahay mm-hmm. nila. So, nangyayari, inaayos lang nila kung ano yung pwedeng ayusin para lang may matirahan sila, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, hindi yung kagaya ng iba na talagang restore. Kaya may makikita tayong mga lumang bahay na talagang napabayaan because mm-hmm. of that. Some of them are like that. Eh. This diba? house is not as good as um, you see it today. It used to be uh, on the outside wooden. Um, some, of the, uh, some of the edges were already uh, ah, talaga. So, my Lola was the one who actually restored this house mm-hmm. back in the early 1990s. So, okay. um, she fixed the foundation below. So, if you'll see like some cement stones, mm-hmm. uh, those were not originally there. She put that in place just to uh, solidify mm-hmm. this house for a, uh, for a few more years. And you know, she was the one who would travel from the city oh, oh, oh. Uh, via bus to come all the way here just to clean up the house. So, we get to enjoy uh, the beauty of what it is today because of my Lola. Alam mo and ba, then... may mga tao na hindi na to na-appreciate. <laughs> you know that? Mm-mm. Ang dami, marami. They don't like this anymore. Gusto nila modern na, modern na bahay. But I do have a lot of friends who come here and then they love the house. Oh, really? Um, they do stay over. So, uh, this is my bedroom. I sleep in there and I actually stay in the house. Uh, my friends who come over, they always want to try it too. Uh, I, I want I want to enjoy what mumu. it's like. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yung kasi mental ng tao, di ba, pag luma, sabi nila may mumu daw. Mm-mm. Wala naman, ano? Um, if they are, Depende. I think they're nice. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, my Lola was very uh, sociable person. And yeah. then if you can just feel, I think you can feel it naman in the air. Now, this yeah. is like a, a nice place, a yes. pleasant place. You can relax here. Yeah. I think it's also just the energy that the house can bring. And mostly because um, my great grandparents were very generous people. The fact that my lolo um, saw people for free, and then my lola would like to, um, she inherited a lot of land, uh, and she'd like to donate it 
So she would donate it to for schools, for example. Oh. The school in the back, the land there was donated by my lola. So they were actually very generous people and they'd love hosting people here. So okay. it's always filled with positive energy. So hindi nga ako matatakot pag ano, pag alam ko yung mga history na gano'n. Ano? Yes. <laughs> you can feel it naman sa room eh. Uh, here's a picture pala of uh, the day my Lola Dora opened his clinic. So, oh, that one, 1942. Mm -mm. December ah, 29, 1942, tama? Uh, no. Um, this one is supposed to be the opening of the day they, they opened the clinic. So, parang they took that picture. Uh-oh, 1942. Mm, okay, 1942, yes. Colored photos. So, that is actually a black and white photo that was painted over. Mm, para magka-color, magka-ano siya. Yes. Nice, no? Pag titignan mo siya from afar, para siyang nagbuburda mm -mm. or ano. Pero pag nilapitan mo, ibon pala yung hawak niya. Mm -hmm. Ang galing. The famous archway of this house, sir. Ang ganda. So, coming into Nakakatawa. the dining area, um, again, my Lola loved to host a lot of parties, so she would have a lot of glassware, yeah. Just for the guests, some of them, uh, you can see they're a little more modern, were added already by my Lola, who carried yeah. on the, um, let's have celebrations here. Uh -oh. So a lot of the furniture here are originally, were originally part of the house, such as the mirror, uh, this marble table, and some oh, of which nice. were added by my dad through the years, uh, including this one. Oh. This was not actually the original house, my great cap grandparents stayed in. Uh, they stayed in a Nipah hut style house. So I have a picture of what their original Ayan, house looks sabi. like. Ayan. That's what the house oh, looked that like one. before. Oh, that one. Oh, Old coins. So, one of my dad's brothers loves scrapbooking. Oh. So if you go around the house, you might find frames with little keys, buttons, and pins. Galing. and pictures because he wanted to display it all. Uh -oh. That was early 2000s where he where we found a collection of letters and pictures from my Lolo. Mm. So the, the those little frames um, was set up by my dad's brother. So since this was not the original house, uh -oh. uh, what they did was that they got um, the wood carving. So all the designs and decorations that you see in this house uh, was hand carved here in Laguna. Paeta Laguna, the wood carving capital of Laguna. So brought from that house and then brought here. Uh, another item that was brought from the old house was this old cabinet. So as you can see, oh, this one, yeah. it was built into the wall. So the house was built mm, for the cabinet. Ah, nga, no? But the cabinet was not built for the wall. They actually uh, made it fit. <laughs> mm, nice. it's, it's an interesting illusion because you wouldn't oh, notice my, it until... Yes. Diyan na talaga siya. Oo, oh, diyan na talaga siya. Oh. <laughs> Ayan, that's all my great-grandmother's original uh, silverware. Um, yeah. yeah. I can even show you over here. Ah, well, this is the bathroom. Um, oh, but bathroom this is also where we kept the medicine cabinet of Lolo Doro. Ah, oh, oh, yes. So back then, you couldn't go to your generic pharmacy or mercury drug. Back then, he had to mix the medicines himself. Wow. So if you look at the um, medicines in the cabinet, yeah, and the powders Angaling. and things that he had to weigh and mix that himself and to give to the people. Nice. Uh, if you want to see what, well, a little more pictures. Bathroom lang to. Okay, <laughs> so a little okay. more modern na. Pero um, over here we have, this is what my Lola looks like. Mm, okay. So you can see the scrapbooking style that um, my Ninong yeah. would do. But yeah, so um, usually I show like, this is what my Lola looks like back <laughs> nice. in her day. And him here in the staircase downstairs. Ah, yun ba yun? Ah, okay. Mm -mm. Nice. Yung pala yung stairs na yun. I'm would wondering you, eh. Would you like to go inside the bedroom? Is that okay? Yeah, at ah, least okay. for here now. Ah, um, The other one kasi is my brother's room, do I think? Pero may natutulog pa dito? Y he, this room? No. No more. Okay, guests. So, guests? No. Ah, no, they okay. So this is my great grandparents uh, bedroom. This is actually their marital bed. So it's a lot older than the house. Na. Mm, wow. Grabe. 
Meron pa bang ganito? May gumagawa pa bang ng ganitong ba? Ano? Hmm. Wala na, no? <laughs> Baka hindi na. It's still no? sturdy. Um, so, if, let's say, um, we have family coming over, they can still sleep here. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's just that we don't use this room since we have other rooms then the man that Uh-oh. we can occupy. Let's see. Uh, this is where we keep, since it's Mama Mary's birthday, uh, she's in the church right now, but this is usually where we keep uh, her statue. Mm, Each, okay. Back then, prominent families would have a uh, religious statue, you know, sa mga processions. Oh, yes. Um, where do those statues go? So they're kept by families, and then we keep the Mama Mary. Um, that's usually that usually stays inside the church, so she's not paraded around. Uh, she's not waterproof. Yeah. Um, so our Mama Mary is the one that stays um, in the church during Flores de Mayo. She goes up and down the waterfall, and then during her birthday, she's also there in mm. the church. So that's why she's not in her box right now. <laughs> this is where we usually keep her. Uh, this is my great grandmother's. Um, Parang bago lang. Tap. <laughs> This is all hand carved. So Galing. from Paete Laguna. Alam tiniti kanina ko pa nga siya tinitingnan eh. Na naano ko eh, na-amaze ako sa design eh. Kala ko bago. Mm-mm. So matagal na rin pala 'yon. Ito. Yes. This is where she keeps all her dresses. I'm surprised nga that they all fit in here. Oh, oh. Um but yeah. Nag-fit the the lock is new. This one's new. Pero everything else um we yeah, this was originally from my lola and you can see like the mismatch ano also. Oh, sa mga ganito. Aparador? Aparador. <laughs> <laughs> and then when my Lola turned 18, you know how it's tradition in the Philippines to have uh, debut. And um, back then, they were actually given a choice na if you want a debut or if you want a vanity. And because it served the, serve the same purpose yeah. know, to, pre- to make the woman presentable yeah. or ready for marriage. Yeah. And my Lola chose the vanity. So this is the vanity that she got. And it was made for her back when she was 18 years old, and she brought it here. Siyempre, pinili niya na yung magkikita niya every day. Mm-hmm. May gamit niya every day. Unlike di po kasi, One picture time. na lang eh. Diba? Video ngayon. Pero ito, for life muna siya makikita, no? <laughs> so this is the one that she nice. had. And, yan. Uh, when she turned 18. So the design usually for Spanish-American houses, if I were to close this door, it, yeah, it's usually closed. Eh. Um, na parang there's no door there, or it's really really made into the wall, and all three rooms are connected by similar doors. Mm-mm. Ah, okay. Well, I think you can try. Oh, okay, naman. There's just a little, yeah, a, a few of my brother's things, but mm. the family is uh, very religious, so you can see a lot of. Um, portraits of Mary on the wall, or you even saw the altar outside filled with statues. So, yeah, these are my brother's things. Um, mm. So, we'd also have some of the original. Ginagamit ko ba yun ngayon? Yes. Talaga? Iba kulambo yan. Kulambo, ah, yes. yes. Kulambo. So, I use a kulambo. I have one. Ay, yeah, talaga. Mm-mm. Nice. Yan. Pero ito and... hindi nagumagana to, no? Yung ano mo. Oh, this one works. Ah, really? Uh, I don't know. I know they're doing laundry now, eh. Pero oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Pagtamad yung kapatid ko. <laughs> Doon sila. Oh. <laughs> so, yan. Yeah. Uh, this door is already locked. Um, and everything here, all the wood that you see, hand-carved and hand-carved here in, pa- in Paete Laguna. Paete Laguna, yes. Yung mga ganito kasi natin na mga artist na gumagawa nito, naubos na eh. Mm-mm. Di ba, no? And Dapat. I'm so worried nga Because this one broke um, even before I was born. So, mm. just make shift na lang to keep it in place. Oh, idikit lang naman yan eh. Diba? Held by metal brackets. Um, I can even show you some of the little things, little trinkets, my Lola's glasses, ah, um, yeah. some of the oh, combs and brushes. Ah. Grabe, nakip nyo pa lahat yung mga ganyan niya. <laughs> yes. My dad can show you later some of the antiques that he's collected over the ah, years. Ah, okay. Sige. Sige. You can ask him about that. Okay. Um, Ah, naku, galing na ako doon sa baba, yung Uh-oh. mga antiques. Yes. yes, galing na ako doon. Yun yung inuna namin kanina eh. Ayan. Pero he can go... Ayan, close naman yung gate. He goes in and out naman. Okay, so nakita na natin itong ano, yung kauna-unahang uh, doctor. doctor dito sa Pila, Pila Laguna. Pila Laguna, right. ayan. So ito yung kanilang bahay na talagang na-preserve nila. No? 
So, makwipreserve mo lang ang isang ancestral house para sa akin. Kapag mahal mo yung pamana sa'yo ng iyong ng iyong pinanggalingan, di ba? Pero kasi kapag wala, wala, ibibenta mo na lang yan kasi wala eh. I think most demolish para to reuse the land. Yeah, yeah. Yun na nga. Kasi ayaw na nila mag-restore dahil siyempre mahal. Di ba? Para ka nagpatayo ng panibagong structure eh, di ba? When you restore a house. Ayun. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Ma'am Celine, thank you so much for ano, for yeah, touring you. us in your house. Ayan, thank I you. I hope you enjoyed. Ayan, thank you. Oy. Ayan, exacto. <laughs> okay, so ayan, nakita na natin ang isa sa mga ancestral house. We just finished the tour. Dito nga sa Pila, Laguna. Ayan, labas na tayo. Thank you so much. Galing. Halika na, baba na tayo ulit. So marami pa tayong iikutin ha. Pero kung hindi man natin maikot lahat, yung mga bahay dito, pwede tayong gumawa ng another tour vlog ano pero hindi siguro ngayong araw kasi ano oras na ba